بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپ ایکس ان وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اوریکل ایپ ایکس 23.1 انسٹالیشن ان ملٹی ٹیننٹ آرکیٹیکچر دا پی ڈی بی ان 19 سی لیٹس پروسیڈ سو Here I have downloaded Apex 23.1 and ORDS 23.1. So what I did from here, I just copied this Apex folder and placed it in my Oracle home, where there was already Apex uh, folder of an older old version. So I just renamed it, renamed it, and kept Apex. right so this is my new 23.1 okay now what i will do i will just copy this from here this path the apex path and will be going to this path right and now <clears throat> i will be connecting to database as CDP. Uh, when you are having CDP or uh, multi multi uh, tenant architecture, if you will log in like this, you will be able to log in with the CDP. In order to connect directly to the PDB, you need a connection string, right? So, so you will enter username, password, at connection string. So I am going to the PDB, or oh, sorry, CDP, and now let me say show PDBs. right okay now if you see here we have uh, a seeded pdb which is read only this is a template only so these three pdbs we had created in our last session uh, for which video is already available <clears throat> and link will be provided so if you see here all three pdbs are in mounted state you must check it you will not be able to install if it is in mounted you need to bring it to read write open state right so to further help you out i kept all the commands over here so what you need to do you can just open erpstuff.com portal uh, and come down in the database for installation or understanding of multi tenant architecture you can open this link there will be video link as well and for this i kept all the commands over here in this uh, post right so i just checked over here so if you want to now open this pdb1 so you can come here on this side and if you see here uh, i might change the sequence as well up and down so you need this one this command right alter pluggable database pdb and open so now i will just i think it was not copied let me try again sorry not this one copy right now database is pdb pdb01 right open right and enter now it is open now if i will say show pdbs it will be in read write okay another point to remember over here if you will just use this command and open the database pdb database the next when you will shut down the database again when you will open database it will again be mounted it will not automatically be in open state or read write so for that you need this command if you see here alter pluggable database your pdb name save state so at the moment your state is open so it will save this state and next time when you will shut down or open this database automatically this pdb01 will be in open state not these other two for these two you need to bring them open and then uh, apply this command okay so let us keep as it is so now i have database open pdb01 
Now, since I'm in CDB, sys as a CDB, so I, first I need to switch to this PDB01 in order to install Apex in this, right? For this, if you see here, you can use this alter session sets container, right? And my container is equal to PDB01, okay? PDB01. So I have altered now. If I will say show PDBs, I am already there in PDB01. Now here I can install Oracle Apex. Now, <coughs> before starting Oracle Apex, let us come down here. So first, since it is 19C by default, it will not be installed, so we don't need to check, but you can check using this that uh, Apex is already not installed. So next is, now one way is you can directly install in uh, sysox or you can, uh, let me let me show you the available table spaces in the PDB. Okay, sysox is already there. This auxiliary uh, table space, but we will create our Apex table space just to keep it separate or differentiated, right? So for that, we will be using this command and it will create Apex table space, right? That's it, create it. Now we need next script to start installation, right? Since we are already there, let me show you how to, we can check. So if you see host directory, this is from SQL plus, you can directly run operating system commands, right? Or you can even switch to uh, command prompt. So this is my Apex folder, right? So it is confirmed. If you will just type uh, host, it will take you to the command prompt. And if you will exit, it will come back to the SQL plus. This was just a quick tip. So I will take this one. Okay, uh, in installation, there are two scripts. One is for development where there will be development environment installation as well. But runtime, this you, you, you see this RT runtime. This will be a read only, read only runtime, not read only runtime Apex installation. This is normally for productions, production environments, right? So I will take this one and paste it over here, but I just need to change this Apex because I have created now Apex, so I will not go with sysx, right? That's it. So now Oracle Apex 23.1 installation started. And once it is completed, then our next step will be to install ORDS with this uh, Apex. And uh, let me explain a little bit about uh, CDB and PDBs. If Oracle Apex is installed in CDB, then you can use in your PDBs. The drawback of this is you can keep only one version and if it is upgraded, it will be upgraded for all. But instead of CDB, if you keep a local copy in each PDB, then you can keep different versions, different type time you can upgrade them. It is up to you then, you know. And especially if you are going to give to someone uh, the PDB, uh, like sh PDB shipping to someone, and then they can uh, plug it. So for that, I think uh, individual copy inside Oracle Apex uh, in our PDB will be good to go. And this is how it is. Meanwhile, let me show you on the right side. These are the commands. But at the same time, if you come in the technical, you can have many topics on Oracle Apex and a good place to learn. Uh, this portal is there since 2006. It's uh, uh, well known in the Oracle EBS community. And now we are trying our best to introduce Oracle Apex and Oracle Cloud with Oracle Autonomous Databases and all those things. So, meanwhile we are waiting for this to get completed. And uh, at the end we will know as well how much time it will take. Uh, this my PC is a uh, desktop. HP i7 and 
ninth generation where I have uh, good memory of 32 GB. So speed can matter based on your hardware and different specifications of the hardware. It, it can be slow or it can be fast. So uh, after installing Apex, then we will use uh, to install Oracle Apex in our uh, sorry, uh, we will install ORDS. So this will be our first uh, sort of lab. Then in the second or next lab, what we'll do, we'll install maybe another version of Oracle Apex in another PDB and ORDS as well. Then we will try to use them and you know, so things like that. And add okay excellent it is installed phase 3 switched right so now our, our oracle apex is, is installed in our uh, pdb 23.1.0 thanks for installing uh, it took 3.37 minutes less than four minutes good okay so what we are going to do then we will be installing um, of course ODS and then I will also show you in another lab or video uh, uh, Tomcat installation and configuration, how to use it, how to uh, connect it. So, hope it will be uh, really knowledgeable uh, sessions.